Welcome to question 1 of the 2014 Mathematical Methods Exam 1. In this video we will be looking at the solution and examination and advice for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. So for part A we have if y equals x squared times sine of x, find dy dx. And if we inspect this function we can see that it's two functions multiplied together, so we're going to need to use the product rule. Now to help apply the product rule, we're going to let u equal x squared, which is the first function multiplied, and v is equal to sine of x, which is the second part that's multiplied together. Then we calculate du dx, which is going to equal 2x, and dv dx, which is going to equal cos of x. Our next step is to look at the formula sheet, and we can see that the derivative d dx of a function u times v is going to equal u times dv dx plus v times du dx. So therefore, the derivative dy dx that we're asked to calculate in this question is going to equal u, which is x squared, times dv dx, which is cos of x, plus v, which is sine of x, times du dx, which is 2x. So that is the answer to part A of this question. So from the examiner's report, we can see that this question was generally very well handled by students, with 88% of students receiving full marks for the question. Some students made errors when they attempted to factorise, which was not necessary for this question. For part B, we now have the function f of x with a rule the square root of x squared plus 3 and we're asked to find the derivative when x is equal to 1. So inspecting this, we can see there's a function, x squared plus 3, inside the square root function, so we're going to use the chain rule. So as we just discussed, y is the square root of u, which can be written as u to the power of a half, where the function u is the inner function, x squared plus 3. Next, we calculate dy du, which is going to equal power out the front and one off the power gives a half u to the power of a negative a half and du dx is going to equal 2x. So from the formula sheet we can see that dy dx, the derivative that we're calculating, is going to be dy du times du dx. f dashed of x is, is going to equal a half times u, but u has the rule x squared plus 3 to the power of negative a half, times du dx, which is 2x. And just to rewrite this slightly, we can cancel the divide by 2 and the multiply by 2 here, and we can also work with this exponent. So on the top line, we're just going to have x divided by, so the negative will take it to the denominator and the half will be a square root, so we'll have x over the square root of x squared plus 3. So therefore, when we calculate f dashed of 1, which is what the question asks for, that's the same as 1 divided by the square root of 1 squared plus 3, and that is simply equal to 1 divided by the square root of 4, which is equal to a half. So that is the answer to part B of this question. So from the examiner's report, we can see that 55% of students got full marks for this question, with most other students making some progress along the way. Many students only gave the expression for the derivative f dashed of x, however, rather than the specific value of f dashed of 1, which is what was asked for. Students should also note that the fraction 1 divided by the square root of 4 does not equal plus or minus a half, it simply equals a half.